What's up, y'all? State Almighty, aka the Global Dark Skin Ambassador. And I'm back with another Power Book for Force Season 2 video. Let's talk about Diamond Samson. And let's talk about Jannard Dopehead. Let me get that hair on Samson, okay? Um, I'm a little bit late to the party, but last night I caught up on the last two episodes of Power Book for Force. And I must say already, season two is way better than the first season. And I like the tone that they have. It's a more, it's, it, to me, it's a more serious tone than Ghost. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, there's older people involved. You got Tommy Egan already there. You got Kate Egan faces who we're familiar with. It's a whole different kind of animal that Tariq is not even dealing with. You know what I'm saying? Cause he's still, he's still, you know what I'm saying? Green, right? Now, my theory is, and my prediction is, Diamond Samson will hold himself responsible for all the bad that's going on with Jannar right now. He's gonna hold himself responsible when he finds out that Jannar has this addiction to heroin and cocaine, because he's doing cocaine first. And not only is he going to hold himself responsible, he's going to feel bad about it. And he is going to front Jannard the money to pay off all his debts to everyone that he owes. He's going to hold himself accountable. And he is accountable. And it is his fault that Jannard is an addict now and Jannard is so down in the dumps. Now, I'm going to explain it like this. It's easy to say, hey, Jannard, you your own man, okay? You got yourself into this. You got to get yourself out, right? But you also got to look at it this way. At the time where Diamond Samson got himself locked up and sent to prison, okay? Jannard was, was basically... Jannard basically had Tariq's kind of potential. He had Ivy League dreams. But he was left this burden of taking over CBI when his brother went to jail. So he was enthralled and thrown into the drug game, a business that he didn't even want for his life, that Diamond initially didn't want for him. But Diamond put that burden on his shoulders. And then Diamond came home 15 years later after Jannar was on top. Now, the way he was going about things, Diamond had disagreements with it or whatever, but Jannar was in a good position. His brother had a place for him, bought, up, bought out the barbershop, had a bunch of money, his finances were in order, but the moment Tommy came to Chicago and Diamond seen, seen that Tommy was more focused on money than killing, Diamond said, you know what? It makes more sense for the business for me to roll with Tommy. He chose Tommy over Jannard for reasons that made sense at the time, right? And now you see Jannard going, going down a spiral. He's stressed out. He's getting his car taken away. He's getting hemmed up by Mirkovich. His life getting threatened by Hefe. The man is stressed out. Mind you, I made a video before season two started where I said that Jannar was going to become an addict and he was going to ruin his life. You know what I'm saying? He was. That video is probably going to be in the description, right? I said he was going to ruin his life. And now look, he's starting to crumble and ruin his life. Now, before I seen season, I mean, before I seen episode two and three, I thought that by episode two or three, he was going to run a play that was going to get him back where he needed to be, but it's gotten worse and worse and worse. And I think we're just going to see people like Jannard and Vic just unravel the whole entire season. Just unravel. And it's going to be bad. It's going to be bad. He's about to make a whole lot of mistakes. Those of us who come from the hood, we know the effect that heroin has on our communities. We know what it's had on people in our families. I'm pretty sure that Jannard is going to be on heroin 
at least for the rest of the season. It's going to be bad. And once Diamond realizes this, he's going to feel terrible about it. And when he finds out, he finds out that the cartel's trying to kill him. Merkovich keeps extorting him and taking away his money. He going to pull up on Hefe. He going to pull up on Merkovich and him. He's going to say, listen, here's the bag of money. Leave my brother alone. And if y'all don't leave my brother alone, we going to war. And then Tommy's going to be like, look at you. You were trying to tell me don't escalate nothing in the war, but look at you going hard over your brother. And, you know, initially, they're going to have disagreements about that. But at some point, Tommy got to realize that, you know what, he was going hard the same way for Ghost, and Ghost was going hard the same way for him. It's your brother. You're not going to let your brother get violated by nobody except for you. You're not going to let it happen. Not on a serious level. You're just not going to let that happen. And it is Diamond's fault. Diamond put that burden on his brother, which led to 15 years later, all your brother has is the drug game. He had his leadership. He had his respect. And then his older brother came, just like when we was little, big bro. You came, you took over something. You know what I'm saying? You took my power away. You emasculated me, look, big bro. Just like it is when, when a brother and little brother is kids and big brother come and he do what he do. And Diamond's going to be like, listen, I ruined your life when I chose to give you CBI and I could have gave it to somebody else. You wasn't even supposed to be living this life and now you're a dope head. <laughs> and mind you, shout out to the guy who plays Jannar, right? Because... He got range. He got range. The first time I remember seeing him was on Snowfall, where he was this gold tooth drug dealer from Alabama, right? He had the accent and everything. Now, on Power Force, he was a drug dealer, and now he's going to play a junkie, a dope head? And then I'm showing the picture throughout this video. You see his face. He plays a good dope head, yo. A good dope head. You know what I'm saying? Um, but like I said, Diamond is responsible for what's happening to Jannar right now in hindsight. It's Diamond's fault. Diamond is responsible. He needs to hold himself accountable, and he will. Because as you can see, Diamond is tired of the effect that CBI has on the neighborhood in a negative way. But y'all let me know what y'all think. Let's like, share, comment, subscribe. Peace.